Welcome to today's video. I am back with another pedal demo for you. This time it's a drive pedal from J Rocket Audio called the Archer Icon. This was sent to me by the good people at fxpedalrental.com. Do go and check them out via the link in the description. So this pedal is based on a rare overdrive called the Clon Centaur and these are hard to find and really quite expensive so if you are looking for a more affordable version of that particular sound then the Archer Icon may be the one for you. J Rocket recommend using it as either a clean boost with the gain turned all the way down, or just as a regular drive pedal with the gain turned up, which apparently attenuates the clean signal and provides a magical blend of clean and dirty tones. So let's hear this thing in action. I'm gonna demo it first as a clean boost with the gain turned all the way down in front of a super clean channel with absolutely no breakup. After that, I'll put it through a crunch channel and just use it as a regular drive pedal to get some nice lead tones. So here's what the pedal sounds like when it's acting as a clean boost in front of a clean channel. I'll play my clean channel first and then turn the pedal on so you can hear the difference. <laughs> So you can hear that when you have the output turned all the way up in front of a clean channel it really does provide a significant volume boost and even with the gain turned all the way down it does add a nice bit of bite to the sound which I personally really like. Okay now let's hear it in front of a crunch channel so again I'm going to play my crunch channel on its own to start with and then I'll turn on the pedal so you can hear the difference in sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
complement the crunch channel very well indeed. You can get some really, really nice lead tones from this pedal when you use it just as a regular drive pedal in front of a crunch channel. Now the controls for this pedal are pretty self-explanatory. All you have is the output, which can get pretty loud as a volume boost, as you heard when I demonstrated it in front of the clean channel. The drive, which obviously controls the amount of gain, and you have a treble control as well. One thing that I really like about this drive pedal is that even when you have the treble turned all the way down and the output and the gain turned all the way up, there is still so much definition and clarity to the notes, even when you're playing in the lower register of the instrument. <laughs> turn the gain or the output up past a certain level, the notes start to lose clarity and sound a bit fuzzy, which I'm personally not a fan of. So this is one of the many reasons that I like this drive pedal in particular, it just doesn't have that problem at all. And much like the Dude, which is another J-Rocket drive pedal, and not a reference to the Big Lebowski, although I guess the name of the pedal is a reference to that film. Anyway, much like this pedal, the build quality on the Archer Icon is exceptional. Really, this thing is solid. I love the overall aesthetic of the pedal. I think it looks great. It's small and wouldn't take up much room on your pedal board, so I would happily purchase one of these if I was in the market for a simple but great sounding drive pedal. Personally, I think its strengths are when it's used as a clean boost in front of a clean channel. That would be with the gain turned all the way down and the output turned all the way up and the treble set however you like. I don't really like using this pedal with the gain turned up on a clean channel because you can still sort of hear the clean sound cut through, which some people definitely like. I'm not one of those people, so I prefer just to use it as a boost when in front of a clean channel. And I also think it sounds great in front of a crunch channel with the gain knob turned up as you can get some really beautiful singing lead tones out of the pedal. If you want to try this pedal out in the comfort of your own home with your own gear and without the pressure of playing in a guitar shop, then I recommend renting it from fxpedalrental.com. They ship incredibly fast, your pedal comes in a nice box with protective packaging and when you're done with it, all you have to do is package it back up, slap on the return label that is included in the box and hand it over to the post office. It's really that easy, so do go and check out their website, it's linked in the description below. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and click subscribe for more.